Hello Globies. You know, the people that you meet on the road are traveling, or even just sitting still, sometimes are just more fascinating than the people that you could ever see in a movie or on television. And one of those individuals that I'm going to introduce you to today is Jean. Jean is 83 years old. He's been a nomad off and on over the years, but he's living as a nomad by choice currently. And I'm gonna let him share with you a little bit of his story and why he chooses to live as a nomad even though he has a home base. So come on, let's go meet Gene and see what he has to share with us. Hello everybody. Hey Gene, how's it going? Ah, uh, Ace is all the way around. <laughs> okay, well that sounds good. You know, we're gonna talk a little bit today about your choice to do what we call as nomad living or van life at, at 83. At 83. Oh my goodness. So we'll do a little tour midway through of your current living situation, but can you tell my viewers, what made you decide to live in a van even though you say you have a home base in another state? I uh, like the freedom. You were talking about neighbors. What, what, what did you tell me earlier about neighbors? <laughs> well, if you happen to be in a place where somebody pulls in and they're noisy or drinking or have kids or something, then it's time for me to pull out, go find someplace else to park. And you were saying part of the freedom is that if you don't like your neighbors, you don't have to be stuck because you can just get in your your van and off you go. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. How easy have you found it to locate places to park or to stay overnight? Because you're back in California and you've been gone for quite a while, so it's a lot more difficult now than it was before you left? It doesn't seem to be. No? Well, I guess that may be because you have a more stealth vehicle. You're in a minivan, not a big, giant RV or something. So have you ever had a knock on the door since you've been back in California, someone telling you to move? No, I've only been back two nights. Oh, okay. Three nights counting uh, my gra granddaughter. Okay. When I first got in. So you stopped by to visit your granddaughter? Yeah, I, stay, I slept in her driveway the in fact, the first time I slept in the in my uh, my lounge. Your lounge. Well, speaking of your lounge, why don't we go check out your lounge, if you don't mind? Okay. Well. Now. I see that you have a cooler here, and that's what you keep your food in? Yes. And does that work pretty well for you? Yes. And then you have over here, do you mind if I pull this down? No, go ahead. Okay, now this is what you're sleeping in. This is basically, it looks like kind of a, um, a chair that you would have a patio chair. Is that usually what you would use that for? That's what it is, a patio lounge. And and you were telling me you move, what do you do with your cooler at night? I put it in the front seat. And then, now I'm looking over here and I see you have a whole rack of clothing back there. Is that all your clothing? That's not all of them, but that's what I brought with me. Okay. For now. And then you have underneath here, it looks like some food under in that carton there? No, no, I have, uh, I have uh, boxes. I have a suitcase there that has a bunch of uh, clothes in it. Okay. And, you know, I, I've got a year down. I think I'm going on a long vacation, but I'm not. All I need is a few uh, briefs and t-shirts and shirts. And as you can see, I got more than I'm ever going to have time to, to use. And my granddaughter said that she would do my laundry for me. I'm not going to have that much laundry. And then you go to the gym, we won't say where, but you go to a gym for showers. Yes. Okay, and so, and my I'm- My exercise class, I made my exercise class this morning. Okay. I did the, uh, the hot, uh, 
hot pot tub and the sauna and in a shower and then I came out here to uh, keep moving things around and try to make my my 12 o'clock meeting all right now I'm seeing I'm seeing that over here you have your golf clubs so I'm guessing you're gonna try and get in some golf now that you're back in California yes so this is not going to be a long interview, but it's just a glimpse, a glimpse on the road of people who are living van life. Now, you were telling me that this is what you plan on doing the rest of your life, you think? Yes, hopefully. And let's look back real quick before you leave at your back part. Now, what is in your back part here? Well, I have all my vitamins here, my stem cell product okay and looks like you have a good cowboy hat oh you're someone after my own heart you have a collection of hats there yeah and then what do you do for water and what do you do for using the bathroom there's my distilled water i drink distilled water okay and uh just all my, my, my potions okay and uh i use a restroom wherever i want to okay there's plenty of available restrooms and trash containers so you don't have to worry about a bathroom or in your your van no no oh. there's no i don't do the bathroom in the van I so go somewhere. so now what would you have to say in closing to anyone who is looking for peace and quiet wants to move into a van what would you tell them at 83 what's your advice Get it done. Get it done. Yeah, do it. All right. Well, sounds like everything you need, you pretty much, you're living on Social Security, and you said you're currently estranged from your wife, but she does help you out financially. Yeah. And you basically said that you don't have any needs that are not met. That's correct. All right. Well, God is good. God is good. Thank you, Gene. And we'll catch up with you maybe after you've been back from to California for a while and see yeah. if you feel the same way about living in your van. Yes, I would like you to record me with my wig on and my banjo on. Okay, I'll tell you what, that's a deal. I will do that with your wig and your banjo. And what kind of van is this again? It's a 2013 Chrysler Town and Country. All right, till and next time with your wig and your banjo. Always remember that ham and eggs taste better in the country. All right, we'll remember that. We will remember that. Take care, Gene. Bye-bye. Yeah.